Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on securing the workstation. Today we're going to discuss password policies, user account management, and other workstation security measures. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. We begin by talking about password policies. Now, the first password policy that you should have in place is requiring passwords. Kind of silly, but you should require them. All workstations should be set to require passwords to access the operating system. These passwords authenticate the user and create accountability. It also helps to prevent unauthorized access. Now, your password policy should encourage setting strong passwords. The strength of a password is highly dependent upon the number of characters because the number of characters in the password are the exponent of the strength. Using a mix of characters, letters, numbers, and symbols can create up to x to the 84th power worth of combinations, x being the number of characters, minimum character length. You should also restrict the use of common names and easily guessed passwords, and your policy should be able to handle that. Other password policies that should be considered include the aging of passwords, passwords that don't expire become ineffective, and the repeating of passwords. If a password can be repeated too often, they also become ineffective. Now let's move on to user account management. The first thing about user account management is that you should restrict the user account permissions. You should use the principle of least privilege. Only grant as many privileges as are necessary to get the job done. Even administrators should be restricted to only their necessary level. And administrators should have a separate account for normal workstation activity. Another thing to keep in mind is don't manage users, manage groups. Users should be created for authentication and then placed into groups. Groups are a whole lot easier to manage than individual users. The groups that you should consider implementing would include administrator groups, power user groups, standard user groups, and guest user groups. Guest accounts should only be activated on a temporary basis, and the default should be not to have a guest account on a workstation at all, and only enable it on a temporary basis. Now let's move on to other workstation security measures. The first topic under this heading is that your policy should be to always change default username and password. Defaults are easy to exploit. If it comes with a default username and password, then it can be looked up and, and you could be exploited. You should also have a policy in place that requires screensaver with password locks. This makes it more difficult for somebody to walk up to an unused workstation and get into your system. And as a policy, all of your workstations should have the auto run feature disabled. This helps to avoid the easy spread of malware. This requires that the user actually interact with the workstation to install software and application. Now that concludes this session on securing the workstation. We covered password policies, user account management, and then a brief discussion on some other workstation security measures. Now on behalf of Pace IT, Thank you for watching this session, and I'm sure we'll do some more.